Hello everybody! Welcome to Spiritual Findings with a Gypsy Soul. I am your Gypsy, Birolyn. Today we're going to be doing a general reading for my Pisces for November 2018. Now when I say general reading, guys, it's going to cover your love, soul story, career, what's going on for November 2018. Now for some of you guys who are interested in your yearly readings, I will be recording them this week if you want to subscribe to keep updated with what I am posting. Okay, now I just want to apologize apologize right off the bat. This is not my normal setup. I usually go out of my way to make sure that the audio and the lighting is on point. I really don't have, um, <laughs> I really don't have the resources to do it here and I wanted to make sure my Pisces got their, got their reading before November started. Okay, so I apologize for the lighting ahead of time. Now, I like to go over the energies of the planets, the full moons, the sign changes because it really does play out in the cards as well as it affects not just you Pisces but everybody. Okay. All right. So it's just starting on November 7th. We have a new moon in Scorpio. At this time, you're going to have new opportunity for research, investigation, paranormal activities. Okay. That might be an interest to you during this time. Your intuitive side is definitely going to have a spike. All right. So embrace it. On the 8th, we have Jupiter is entering Sagittarius. Okay. It will be there until December 3rd, 2019. Now, Sagittarius' ruler is, in fact, Jupiter. So, Jupiter is just sitting happy there, okay? So, you embrace that energy. On the 5th, Mars is entering your sign. Now, listen, Mars, a very masculine planet, is entering your sign, the healers of the zodiac sign. Now, I've been telling my other horoscopes that your sex might be connected more with emotions during this time. If you are dating, you might have... You or the person you're dating might want to put a label on the relationship, okay? Try to avoid uh, conflicts during this time, but um, it's not just you, just everybody will have a more healing energy to their masculine side, so embrace it. On the 16th, we got a lot going on. We have a retrograde, yes, another retrograde. Mercury is turning retrograde in Sagittarius, okay? During this time, you guys are going to reflect, okay? You're going to rest. You're going to make sure that the steps that you are taking in life are the appropriate steps you need to to manifest your dreams, okay? If not, during this time, you're going to realize it, and when that retrograde ends, you're going to boot those bad habits or boot that toxic ex, you know, uh, get rid of that dead-end job and find yourself a new career that makes your passions an all-time high. All right, and same day, Venus is going direct in Libra. So your relationships, business, romantic, will become more comfortable, more clear, okay? On the 23rd, we have a full moon in Gemini, okay? This will bring a completion of your community projects, communication projects and business, networking. This is the time of year that you're also going to get those social invites to those holidays too, okay, guys? Geminis are the communicators of the zodiac sign, okay? Okay, so embrace it. All right, I said this was a card reading, right? Now, I really do like to go over the energies because it does play in through the cards as well as it just gives you a heads up if it doesn't play in the cards. Usually 80% of the time it does, but, um, but if not, now you know. <laughs> All right. Now, if you guys would like to book a private reading, you can go ahead and see below how you go about that. I do FaceTime over the phone. I do uh, pre-recorded emails. Those are popular when people want to get their uh, yearly reading. As well as I uh, can do email. All right. That's a very popular $10 email reading. You guys let me know your question. I'll shuffle the cards, take a photo of them, email you back with the insight that I see that the cards are giving me. Okay. All right, my Pisces. Woo! Ooh, whoa, we have just, we have some news for you. We have some news for you. All right, Pisces. We are starting out with the Eight of Swords. We have the Seven of Swords and Tempress. So, with this, a lot of you guys are coming from a toxic relationship or you know even in the past couple years you might have gotten a divorce that just really left you stuck okay this could also be um 
a job that leaves you feeling stuck okay as you could see in this card and again i i apologize for the lighting you could see that she is tied up okay but not really in distress she could easily get off those straps if she wanted to but she's not okay because she's stuck mentally and physically because she's stuck mentally she's stuck physically so what i want you to do pisces is i really want you to forget that old trauma now you're asking me what please okay you need to learn how to heal how to move on because if you keep if you're stuck in the past okay your your present will remain in the past like they say you know the past and the future do not exist it's the present that exists okay so embrace that and once you do so you have the seven of swords so you will be taking a lot from this letting go of that tied up energy that feeling stuck you will be walking away with a lot more than you can even carry pisces okay so make sure that you really untie yourself let that you know it could be a toxic ex it could be a dead end job it could just be fear of losing a loved one okay sometimes if you spend your relationship worrying about oh they're gonna leave me or oh they're gonna cheat on me or oh yeah it's gonna happen what you fear you manifest so let go of those fears. Think positive, okay? And you have the Tempress. All right. For this energy, there is a utopia waiting around the corner for you. If you deal with these situations properly, okay, and you make sure that how you leave it, you're not doing it so hastily. For some of you guys who do have that dead end, dead end job, put in your two weeks, okay? You really don't wanna put water under the bridge and just make things so much more worse than it really needs to be. Okay, you need to be balanced. You need to have a holy-like approach with how you communicate from this time on. Okay, guys, so we're going to do some from the angels and some from the fairies, too, as well. If you guys book a private reading with me, you're more than welcome to pick which decks you would like me to read from if you want to know your animal spirit, okay? I have so many cards. That's also why I make sure to have the lighting on point because the illustrations are just so beautiful. And I, I apologize for not being able to bring that to you this month. For your yearly reading, I absolutely will have a better setup for you guys, okay? I just wanted to make sure that you guys got this video in a timely manner before November, okay? Get prepared. All right, three of air. Great sadness. Take time to heal. The need to forgive yourself or others. I'll tell you what, Pisces. This absolutely falls in line with the eight of swords. <sighs> That great sadness has you tied up, okay? You need to forgive yourself. You need to forgive your others. Others, you need to relinquish that fear and move on, okay? You need to take what it is that you inspire, you desire, you need for security, okay? Take it. And then you'll end up as a temperess. <laughs> All right. Let's do one from the fairies, too, as well. Let's see here. We have, I have oh, all right. Okay, we have a card that says debt paid off. The old weight in habit of debt is lifted from you and your life. Because you know what? Once you get your shit together, Pisces, things will align. Things will come to you. When you put out positive energy, positive energy comes back to you. You'll get a promotion. You'll get a new job. You know, you'll find somebody in life who accepts you for who you are, okay? Winter, the answers of your prayers and affirmations are fully realized in the winter months. Everything takes time, Pisces, okay? So this energy that you're putting out you know don't expect instant karma okay it's going to take a little bit it's going to take a little bit to manifest and that's okay because we need time to really think is what i'm trying to mess mess manifest what i want because if you got it instantly and you're like oops that's not really what i wanted and it's already there too late okay so it takes time okay don't be impatient all right take your time it'll come It'll come in winter. It won't be fall. You'll see the real results in winter. 
okay? All right, guys, that pretty much settles up everything for November 2018. If you would like to book a private reading, my email is below, okay? Private, pre-recorded, over-the-phone email, okay? I love hearing from you guys. Go ahead and comment below, all right? Share how you're feeling with what's going on in life. Share your life's journey, okay? I I love replying to you guys as well as it, 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 forms, a uh, it forms a community here on Spiritual Findings. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Spiritual Findings with a Gypsy Soul. I am your Gypsy, Farrell You guys have a beautiful November.